Hey everyone, this is Stefan from projectlifemastery.com and in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I call my content creation machine. This is the exact process that I utilize in my online business that's allowed me to create a ton of content, allows me to attract thousands of people to me online, and has helped me build my brand, Project Life Mastery, to where it is today. Now you might be wondering, how is it that there's people out there creating so much content? You know, you might look at someone like myself or someone else out there that you might follow and be blown away by the amount of content that they're producing on a daily or weekly basis. And you might be a content creator yourself, you might be a blogger, a YouTuber, a podcaster, or whatever it is, and you might be overwhelmed. You might be overwhelmed by, uh, you know, being able to keep up with creating content. You know, maybe you can do a, a blog post once a week or a video once a week, but on top of that, you gotta do your Facebook, right? You gotta do Facebook every day and Twitter and Instagram every day and Pinterest and Periscope and Snapchat and I totally get it. It can be very overwhelming if you don't have a system for it, if you're not automating it in some way, if you're not leveraging yourself and that's primarily what I wanna show you and share with you in this video. Now the process that I'm gonna show, uh, share with you is a process that I utilize in my business to create content. And uh, this video, I'm gonna try to keep it around 10 minutes or so, but I can't go into everything in this video. It's pretty in depth. I am creating a bonus for my Affiliate Marketing Mastery members that's gonna go into this exact process in a lot more detail. But I still think it's important to share this with you because it will help you understand things a lot better and allow you to leverage yourself and work smarter, not necessarily harder, okay? So let's say this video right now is a 10 minute video and hopefully I'll try to keep it within 10 minutes. The first step of, that I do to create content is I record a video, okay? So step one, video. And this is a video that what I do is I actually have a virtual assistant, someone on my team that helps to automate this process. And really that's the most important thing when it comes to automation. You can do all this yourself, but it's gonna be way too overwhelming for you to do it. Uh, I'm very blessed now because I built an amazing team of people that work for Project Life Mastery and I have virtual assistants in the Philippines, I've got virtual team in Canada, United States, all over the world that work with me. Just so happens in the Philippines you can get people very inexpensively for some of this very mundane, repetitive type stuff that you probably are not gonna wanna do yourself. So to give you an idea, you can find virtual assistants in the Philippines for as low as $3 an hour, which is a great wage for them there because their economy, their, their exchange rate, everything is much different for, uh, uh, for them there. And that can help you to be, do some of this stuff for you. So I'm gonna share the process that I utilize. I record a video, let's say it's a 10 minute video. And by the way, I apologize for my writing, it can be a little bit, little bit messy at times. Um, I record a video, I then share this on Dropbox, and this goes to my virtual assistant who does the video editing. So essentially what this person does, they receive the video, they edit it. My videos, there's really not much editing involved. It's just the, the front and the end. We add an end slate at the end of the video. Uh, he uploads it to YouTube, optimizes it, and step one is done, okay? So he puts the video up on YouTube. And by the way, YouTube, the second largest search engine in the world behind Google, uh, video is powerful. Hopefully you're utilizing that in your business as well. Most content online is video. I was actually reading the next 10 years, 90% of content is gonna be video. And if you just don't believe me, look at your Facebook feed. What do you see most of? Video. Snapchat, Instagram, what do you see most of? Video. So video is, is a very powerful form of content that you wanna be utilizing your business to build your brand and to attract people to you online. So I usually always start with the video. The second step of what we do is we get that video transcribed, okay? So we turn it, we transcribe the video, which becomes an article that we can then publish on a blog. So step two is to transcribe into article. Now the benefit for this is by having the article on the blog as well as embedding the YouTube video in the blog post, that allows us to create content that can then be picked up by Google and the other search engines out there. So Google's the number one search engine out there. By publishing written articles, then my content can show up when people search in Google for either short tail or long tail keywords. That is another great source of attracting people online. Also, some people, they don't wanna watch a video, they just wanna read 
and a read, you know, reading is almost like a shorter, you can just kind of skim through it and pick up the content that way too. So transcribing into an article, there's people you can hire for that, there's companies you can use. I use rev.com, rev.com, and it's about $1 for every one minute. So a 10 minute video costs $10 to turn into an article. You could either have someone that can maybe edit it, clean it up a little bit to make it a little bit more readable, or to, to SEO optimize it for Google and the search engines for a specific keyword, but turning into an article is really the second step. The third step <clears throat> is we take the audio from this video, okay, this video here, and we're gonna turn that into a podcast. So take the 10 minute audio, have somebody that adds an intro and an outro to that, and then puts that up on iTunes, and now all of a sudden you have another piece of content, uh, a podcast that's on iTunes that a lot of people can find you from, and consume your content that way. And we also embed the podcast on the blog post. So on the blog post, we have an article, the video embedded, as well as the podcast embedded. So very powerful, this one video already is three forms of content, okay? Three places for people to find me as well as for people to consume my content. Because some people, they like to listen, right? They wanna listen while they're at their gym, while they're driving their car. So podcast is also a great way to repurpose your content. Now the next step is what we do is I have somebody that goes through the transcript, okay, or the video or the podcast, and they basically find little sentences or excerpts, uh, pieces of content that can be uh, created into social media content. So maybe let's say in this video, I, I say something like, content is king. Everybody should be using content in their online business, okay? I use that sentence. Content is king, everybody should be using content in their online business. Well, the person is gonna then take that and can now publish that as a tweet on Twitter. Okay, so this person now is gonna publish this on Twitter, and then from there can turn, turn that into an image. You can use different softwares or tools, like canva.com for example, and then basically put a background image with that quote on there as well, and then put that on Instagram. And then from there, you can also take that, either the quote or the image itself, and put that on Facebook. They can also be put on Pinterest, etc. So it can go on all these different platforms, or you could also take clips from this video. For example, Instagram, you could have a minute clip, or on Facebook, you could you know, even take little excerpts of clips and that can also be content that is published on Instagram or Facebook or even Twitter as well. So it's all about repurposing the content because here's this 10 minute video that I created, all of a sudden it's become you know, seven different pieces of content on all these different platforms. In fact, this one video you know, can become several Twitter uh, tweets or Instagram posts or Facebook posts or, or pin, Pinterest posts, all from this 10 minute video. So again, it's working smarter, not harder. It's using leverage, leverage, leveraging yourself as much as possible. And like I said, you could either do this yourself or you could just hire someone inexpensively that can rinse and repeat this machine for you. And in doing so, you're gonna be able to create so much more content consistently. To give you an idea also for me, uh, sometimes I'll do a Snapchat story, sometimes I might even do a Periscope live stream. The same process applies. If I did a Periscope stream, that could be turned into a YouTube video, published to YouTube, it can be transcribed, podcast, etc. all from that one piece of content that I created. Okay, so leveraging yourself as much as possible. This is what the big influencers do. This is what the big, you know, people out there online or in certain industries do as well. For example, a lot of people of the books that you might be buying, the, the person that's writing the book, they're not actually even writing the book themselves in a lot of cases. In a lot of cases, there's a ghostwriter who's essentially going through videos and content that that person's already created and they're transcribing that and they're editing it and cleaning it up and turning that into a book and then publishing that to become a New York Times bestselling book. So in a lot of cases, these people, they're not sitting there writing their own book, they're leveraging themselves by using other people and repurposing content that they've already created. Give you an idea, I've done that myself where I've taken certain videos that I've done that just really amazing value, had someone transcribe it, edit it, clean it up, publishing that as a Kindle book that I can then sell on Amazon for a couple dollars. You know, so 
that's just a great way of repurposing content and being smarter with it. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of this content creation machine, how to leverage yourself, work smarter. Uh, like I said, I'm going a lot more in depth with this in my affiliate marketing mastery program and in terms of the actual uh, details and behind the scenes of how I do it in my business. Um, so if you're a member of that, you're gonna benefit from that coming soon. But regardless of that, I just wanna show you guys the power of leverage and how to, how to create more content on all these different platforms to help you grow your brand and your online business. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We're just at 10 minutes right here, which is great. Uh, just on time for once. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment below. And if you wanna check out Affiliate Marketing Mastery, then I've got a great uh, four-part free video series for you. Just go to affiliatemarketingmastery.com or click the link below in the description. Head on over there to get access to the videos that I have available for you. But that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.